terrifying, scary stories. It was during one of those super hot summers where it felt like the air was sticking to your skin and no matter where you went, you just couldn't escape the heat. My little room was like an oven at night, too hot for any blankets, with only a thin white curtain fluttering slightly from the rare breezes that barely cooled anything. The first weird thing happened on a night just like any other. I kept hearing these tiny noises, like something scratching gently against the window or the softest footsteps. But every time I checked, there was nothing there. It was probably just the heat messing with my head, or so I thought. The next night I was tossing and turning, soaked in sweat, and just couldn't sleep. I decided to hop into the shower to cool down. The cold water felt so good washing away the heat. As I stood under the running water, I suddenly felt a sharp sting on my back, like fingernails dragging across my skin. I jumped and turned around, but I was alone. My heart was pounding and I rushed to finish the shower, trying to tell myself it was just my imagination. The morning after, I was getting dressed, pulling on my shirt, and my boyfriend was there. He suddenly looked all serious and asked, what's that on your back? I had no idea what he was talking about. He took a photo with his phone and showed it to me. There were three long scratches down my back. I hadn't felt anything and there was nothing in my bed or shower that could have done that. It made my stomach turn. I had felt something in the shower after all, but I was too scared to admit it even to myself. It hit me hard then, all the odd noises, the oppressive heat, and now this, marks on my body. I remembered old stories about spirits that could leave real marks on the living, but I had never believed them. Now, here I was, with no idea how to explain what happened. Nothing else weird happened after that, but I couldn't just forget about it. I started being more careful, especially at night. No more late showers, and I double-checked every window and door before bed. It might have been nothing, but whenever I'm alone, I make sure to keep the lights on and the curtains closed, just in case. I was camping with some friends in a remote part of California near a small lake. It was far away from any city lights and was really peaceful. On the second night we were there, there were 10 of us, just hanging out by the fire, talking, drinking, and playing some games. Then out of nowhere, we all heard a little boy's voice yelling for help. It was weird because there were no kids with us, and we were the only ones camping in that area. So after looking at each other for a few seconds, we decided to go and try to help this little boy. We grabbed our flashlights and headed towards the area where the voice was coming from. As we got closer, the voice got louder. Then, about 40 yards away from where we were, we saw this really tall figure, maybe eight feet, standing behind a clump of bushes, making the same sounds as the little boy we heard calling for help. It looked really thin and really pale. There didn't seem to be any discernible features, but it was definitely humanoid. When we all started approaching this figure, it slowly backed away and disappeared behind some trees. A little shaken, we went back to our camp and talked about what just happened. However, a little later, after we all calmed down and tried to sleep, we started hearing the little boy call for help again. My whole life I've seen and felt things I just couldn't explain. But what happened in my home where I live with my husband and daughter was different. It scared me so much that I stopped chasing ghost stories, not because I got bored, but because I was too afraid. It all started with odd stuff happening in our house, noises we couldn't place, things moving on their own, 
and cups flying off counters by themselves. At first we tried to ignore it, thinking maybe we were just forgetting where we put things or not paying attention, but it kept happening over and over until it became more annoying than scary. One day something happened that really scared us. My little girl, who couldn't even talk yet, was near the laundry room. She looked up at an empty space and reached her arms up like she wanted someone we couldn't see to pick her up. That moment was so terrifying that it changed everything for us. Because of all this weird stuff, we decided to try and figure out what was going on using a Ouija board. Maybe we could talk to whatever was causing all the trouble and get it to stop. One night after our daughter went to bed, my husband and I called over a couple friends and tried to communicate with whatever was haunting our home with the Ouija board. Nothing really happened until towards the end there was a strong pull from the planchette. We all got scared and let go and called it a night. After that is when the scariest moment in my life happened. One night, as I was making some food in the kitchen, and the rest of the family was upstairs, I felt a very strange sensation, like something was watching me. I turned around and saw a girl, pale dark eyes reaching out to me trying to utter something from her gaping mouth. I was so scared I couldn't even move. I just stood there screaming in a panic until my husband came down to check on me. When we looked, she was gone. After that, we cleaned the house with sage and promised never to use the Ouija board again. Make sure to like and subscribe for more stories.